Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I've got another uh, Sonoda plier. I think I'm saying that right finally. I had a lot of corrections in, my, uh, in the comments of my other videos. But what I want to do is address some multi-plier considerations. Uh, these are great little teeny weeny Knipex multi-pliers. It all started with this one. This is a Wilmar from Korea that I got, like, I don't know, 35, 40 years ago. Uh, real simple design, still holds up, doesn't cut worth a hoot, but it taught me that you don't always need these gigantic lineman pliers, although I do really like these. Um, but anyway, this is the one I'm looking at today. This is uh, the Sonoda PW102DG power side cutting plier in the six inch version. This thing is uh, about uh, $16. There is also a 7 inch for 20 bucks and an 8 inch for 25 or something like that, depending on, uh, um, on where you get it. But this is a, um, a Japanese plier, excellent steel, simple design with a few differences compared to some of these others. Um, it has a multi-component handle. It does have extra kind of texture here. It's, all, it's really grippy on both. Um, they're fairly grippy on this harder plastic, which is still not as hard as, as some of the other plastics. Um, and then this is really grippy, but not super soft. It does have a tether loop here. Uh, the things to notice, and I'll be comparing them in a moment, is first of all, just how big those cutting knives are for a small plier. In fact, compare those, you know, to this, this giant ideal lineman. Whereas a lot of these, um, they're shorter. In fact, that one, if I line it up, you can see it's shorter there, or on this Knipex here. If I line up, you know, straight across how, how much larger it is. Another thing is the width of the, the blades at the top, the jaws. This distance here, compared to, here's that NWS Milwaukee plier. You can see it's almost twice that size. Uh, here is the Knipex, so that's it's about a third more. Uh, here is a snap-on. This is the alignment, they call this. This is one of my favorite pliers. This is the 57 AHLP. I'm, I assume it's still made. I don't know. Got this a long time ago. Love this thing. Uh, and you can see here even, um, if I line that up with my fingernail, it looks like the, the um, Sonoda is just a hair larger. Um, so those are its two big features. It's got, you know, the, the gripping teeth up at the front end on a large blade, large, large jaw there, and then a big cutting surface, comfortable handle. Now let's try some cutting here. Here's a piece of Romex. This is kind of interesting. Um, I'll cut, first off, I guess I can show you a couple. It just snips this stuff. Um, so there's a fresh piece right here. You can put this on. This is a small pair of pliers too like that. The, the snap-on, this is a little bit bigger as you can see in height, so it is definitely a bigger plier. Snap-on just goes right through it too. Whoops, got a little low on that one. Um, however, the Knipex go into that. I can't do it one-handed. I've got to go two. It's pretty, pretty snappy. Uh, this NWS, however, even though the Romex pretty much fills the jaws, I can do that one-handed. And then this thing, like I said, <laughs> I can do nothing but maybe score the, not even cut all the way through, it just not much going on there, versus a great big huge pair of pliers um, that you can just zip through. This thing puts up a fight if I do it like this. I can easily cut in that way and cut in that way. Um, so these, these do perform, but this is kind of a letdown, not being able to cut through. But generally that's not what I grab when I'm trying to cut Romex. This just surprised me how easily it just zips through. That's one-handed. You can see I'm not you know, barely stressing my hand. Um, but anyway, uh, this is a uh, good solid plier. People recommended it. I like it uh, for the price. I think it's great. It's it's certainly 
quite reasonable compared to a lot of high quality pliers. And given the cutting knives, given the large face, it does offer some, some differences. Here's another test. If I put this washer in here, and uh, I'll grab it with the Milwaukee's here, or NWS as I should say. And if you watch as I twist this, it's gonna separate the Milwaukee jaws right there. I'm pulling them apart. I'm not gonna do anything with this. This is just for an example of a really small style of this. Go to the Knipex here, grab it in, and then squeeze. Now sure, it's my left hand, but you'll see. So it starts prying that thing open. Here's the snap-on. You can see that one. Neither one of them wants to give up. So that's kind of what I'm up against. So it does have great, great uh, power and control. Good design, affordable, great handles, excellent cutting. What's not to like? Anyway, there it is. The Sonoda PW102DG, made in Japan. And with that, dock out.